Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, folks, welcome back. We're looking at solving two sided equations. We're looking at the basic principles. Now, when we have two sided, these are called linear equations because the highest power of x is 1. Okay, yeah, let's pay attention. We, well, where do we start? What's, what's the first thing that we do? We start the question out where? Okay, yeah. We start at. We've got two lots of x's. Which one? We start at the smaller. It can be an x or y, whatever it is. For this question, it's an x. So start at the smaller x value. That's step one. What is step two? Mr. Smile. Once we start the smaller x value, which in this case is 8x, because 8x is smaller than 10x. So 8x, between 8x and 10x, 8x is the smaller value. Are you happy with that, Junaid? Yeah? So number two. Once we've found our way to start the question, what do we do once we start at 8x? Mm. So we move the smaller x towards what? Bigger x. That's right. Smaller x towards the large x. Towards the larger x. So this plus 8x, grab it. It's a plus 8x, not because of this plus, because it is itself plus. Opposite of plus 8x is? Minus 8x. That's right. When we change side, we change sign. Now, once we move the x to one side, we have to, at this, so, move the numbers. Wow, that's a weird spelling of numbers. N-U-M-B-E-R-S. That just looks so wrong spelling. Let's try it again. So you move the numbers or the other items. The other number move the number in the other direction. You see what that means in a second. Now I move the x from the right to the left, so I've got to move the number on the left hand side to the right hand side. Whoops. Opposite add for is now what is the purpose of this? What are we trying to do? We're trying to get as the uh, Ikra mentioned earlier, we're trying to get the something on one side and something on the other side. What's that? We're trying to get the x's on one side and, and the numbers. and the numbers on the so we have already started with plus eight and minus four jointed. So ten x minus eight x is my will that give us? Ten x minus eight x will give us what? Yes. Well done. That will give you two x. Okay, now Junaid, 8 plus 8 minus 4, what we were just doing earlier, negative numbers. So the answer will give us 4, four just plus 4. The plus is put there for emphasis only, it's not necessary. Now, okay, what do I move now? I move the, not 2, we don't move the 2, we move the, multiply by 2, don't say 2, because 2 is not an action. Multiply is the action, multiply by 2. Opposite of time by 2, we change side, we change the sign. Opposite of time by 2 is? Divide by 2. So x has a value of 2. So we have now solved our linear double sided equation. Okay. Are we happy with that? That's a nice basic example. So move the number in the direction and then we solve. Okay. So we have x is. On one side, we have numbers on the other side. Okay, uh, and then what we do? Solve. Let's simplify. Okay. Okay, we're we happy with that basic concept. Now let's look at some other examples. What we're going to do, we're just going to chop this bit out and put a new question in here, following the same rules. So give me one moment while I do a little bit of chopping. Okay, yeah, I guess we become mathematical butchers. Okay, delete that. Really Let's get back to our pen. Let's look at another example. Are we happy with that smile? Is it all good, good? Yeah? So that was an additional example. Should we do one minus one and one with brackets? Yeah. So let's do one minus. Okay. Uh, Ikra, can you choose me a question from part 12, please? 
Uh, choose me, choose me a nice, a nice one. Number 16? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do that one. Number 16, what do we have? Mr. Junaid, read out for me question number 16, part 12, please. Uh, 23x. 23x. Minus Ismail, copy down, please. Minus 15. Minus 15. Equals 13x. Equals 13x. Yeah. Plus 30. Plus 30, is it? Yeah. Lovely. What we're going to see, we're going to see if we can follow our rules here and see if, if it's repeatable, what our success from the previous question. So, Mr. Ismail, can you fire off, can you reread for me rule number one? Read it out to me. What does it say? Value. Now, in a question, we could have X's or Y's or P's or the N's here. Yeah? In this particular question, it's X, but that X could really be a P or a Y, it could be anything else. Yeah, it's going to be linear. So, which is the smaller X value, Ikra? 13x, beautiful. So we start here. Now when I say start here, we start looking. Then what do we do? What's the second step, Ikra? Yeah, move, move this smaller x value towards the larger one. So we're going to grab the 13x from the right hand side, of my right side anyway, and we move it to the other side. When it changes sign, it changes sign. It was a plus 13x, it becomes a minus 13x. Now, as soon as we move the 13x, to the right hand side, you must straight away move the number on the left, that side, to the other, other side. side. And the intention is to get the numbers on one side and the letters on the other side. So we have 23x minus 13x is equal to plus 30, which is already here. So, Junaid, what happens to the minus 15? Uh, it goes to the positive. Okay, why does it change positive? Because when we change side, we change sign. So let's simplify it now. So we move the small x towards the larger. We move the number in the other direction. So the x's went to one side, numbers went to the other side. So this is all the x's. This is all the numbers. Let me get rid of those two ones. Just put in the purposes. Okay, now let's simplify. So what's 30 plus 15? Okay, yeah. 45. 45. Okay, Junaid, what's 23x minus 13x? 10x. 10x, right. So I feel like your next part is yours, madam. I got 4.5. That's possible. So x has been timed by 10. So the opposite of time by 10 is? Divide by 10. Divide by 10. So x is equal to 45 divided by 10, which is equal to? 4.5. And that's the end of that example. So as long as we follow the rule, start at the smaller x value, move it towards the larger, move the numbers in the opposite direction. Numbers are on one side, let's on one side simplify and solve. Job's done. So now I'm going to pause or stop the video. So we got, I'm, I'm going to pause the video because we're going to do one more with the, with the double brackets in there as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's just pause it here. I'll give you some questions to do now. Let's pause it. Okay, uh, students have asked me to do another question. Uh, let's do some little bit of cutting. Right. Dab. Here we go. Brush. Right, read that question to me, Adrukia, yeah, the one the fractional one in there, yeah, please. One and a half x. So we have one and a half x. Ismail, please check your answer as well on that one. One and a half x. Add one. Add one. Equals. Equals. Half, half, one, half x. Yeah. Add three. Okay, now. Part one says, uh, Mr. Ismail, what does part one say? Start at the smaller. x value. So we have one and a half x and a half x. Which one's smaller? And half. Well done. So you grab the half x. Now is this half is it positive or negative? Positive. Why? By by default. Here it's got its own plus sign here. This plus sign does not belong to plus half, it belongs to the full. So we grab the plus half x, we take it from this side to the and since it was plus half, it becomes now a minus a half x. Now, at the same time, we've got to quickly grab the plus num one number from that side and take it to the That's other right. side. So the numbers are on one side and the letters on the other side. So we have now here, we have one and a half x minus a half x, which you didn't have right here. You're talking about multiplying. That's when you got confused on that one. Uh, oh, now it's all. Opposite add one is? Minus one. So one and a half x minus a half x gives you one x, which is just written as x. And four take away one is done. 
Well done. I forgot that right. Okay. I want to do one more type of example on here before I let you do this in the last bit. One of the double brackets on it. Okay. Let's do a little bit more cutting and pasting. You mean 40 part 4? Yeah, part 13. Okay, last last example for this video then. Okay, uh, let's have Junaid. Junaid, you pick me a question from question part 13, a nice the juicy one. Uh, Don't pick an easy one. One with brackets on both sides. Question 14. Question number 14 is a good question. Can you read out to me, please? Three. So let me get a different color. So we start with three, then brackets. brackets. 2x. Okay. Minus 5. 2x minus 5, then. Close the brackets. Close the brackets. Equals, equals two, two, two bracket two x bracket two x plus one plus one Lo lovely question now it's my pay careful attention to this question now That's normally I mean I said normally if you don't need to multiply brackets I won't ask you to multiply them I'll try to tell you not to do this but in this case because we've got the brackets on both sides we do need to multiply it out to release what's in the brackets yeah. we can't get the inside of the brackets out unless you multiply it out so let's do that first so it's my, what I'm going to do first, I'm looking over here, I'm going to start with the 3 and multiply by the 2x. This is called multiplying the brackets. So we have 3 multiplied by 2x. What's 3 done by 2x? 6x. Lovely. Okay, the next one is my 3 times by minus 5. 3 times by minus 5 is equal to what? 15. Minus, which we just done in the beginning of the lesson, yes? Equal back in now. Let's have Rukiya. 2 times by 2x. What's that give us? 4x. Beautiful. Just write down over here. Just a little bit of extra work. And the next bit is 2 times by? 1. No, 2 times by plus 1. Remember the sign. Mm. Because the sign is very important. Because if it, if you miss out, if it was a minus, you missed out, you'd make the question go wrong. So 2 times by plus 1 is nice and simple. What is it? Mm. Plus 2. Remember? Yeah? Now, when we say 2 times by plus 1, the reason why I say you emphasize the plus 1 is because it comes out in your answer. If you say 2 times by a plus 1, the answer will then lead you to plus 2. And that plus then gives you the sign here. Otherwise, you just have numbers just standing around with no signs in front of them. Okay? So, Mr. Junaid, what do I do now? Now that I've multiplied the brackets, what do we do? We do the rules now. So, you, the small, you get the small x and go to the... Which is the small x? 4x. We grab the 4x. Small x value. We move that towards the... The larger x value, and then at the same time, we grab the number and move that in the opposite direction. So, what do we have on the next line, Junaid? 6x um, six six x minus 4x. Because the plus 4x became a? Minus. Beautiful. Next. Equals 15 plus 2. Okay, I'll just put the plus 2 first, that's already there. And then minus 15 becomes a? Plus 15. Plus 15. Ismail, it becomes a plus 15 because it was originally a? Minus 15. Minus 15 changes side, it changes sign. Okay, must change sign. Next part of the question now. We have 6x minus 4x, and that will give us what? 2x. 2 plus 15 is? 17. Now, this is a bit, the students get a bit skittish and they go, oh, I've made a mistake. Because what I'm going to try now to do opposite time by 2. Oh, 17 doesn't go. It's a work. Students get kind of agitated and get worried. Now, in mathematics, we have fractional answers. We have negative fractional answers. We have decimal answers. We have all type of answers. So don't worry about fraction answers. That's not a problem. Excuse me, that's a so what we do now? We grab the time by two now. Ismail, we take it over to the other side. Becomes a divide by two. X is equal to seventeen. Junaid divided by two. Seventeen divided by two is eight point five. Or if you want to keep this, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight point five or eight and a half. Whatever makes you happy. So both are correct. So this one is a bit longer. It's not a harder question. It's a longer question. We all know how to multiply our brackets. We've just done that. We've done the simple. We've done the rearranging. So you've got an extra step. Multiply at the brackets. And then do the same. Are we happy? I'm going to stop the video now. We'll see you in the next video, inshallah.